in Major League Baseball, we're seeing a major, major issue taking place now. As a few days ago, it only seemed like the Miami Marlins. They had 18 total players that had tested positive for COVID. Wow. It forced them to shut down their whole schedule for pretty much this whole week. Uh, I don't think they've played since Monday, and they've been off ever since then. It interrupted the Philly schedule. Um, it interrupted the Yankees schedule. Yankees kind of had to redirect to go to Baltimore instead of going to Philly. Um, all of this, obviously, because Miami Marlins were in Philly when they started receiving these, this news of the diagnosis and a positive test. Now the St. Louis Cardinals are in the same boat. As of last night, I saw there were two people on the Cardinals staff that had tested positive. As of 30 minutes ago, ESPN had breaking news that there's a significant jump in positive tests on the St. Louis Cardinals. And there's already rumors floating around that Major League Baseball has already alerted all of the TV networks to plan for substitute programming for next week uh, if they need to shut down the, the, the league next week. So wow. we barely made it a week through, and we're already seeing all of these issues. Yeah. And it sucks the most is the Yankees 6-1 and one right now. <laughs> so. And you know what? He- hearing you say that, though, it does kind of <laughs> make me feel bad for even laughing at Lou Williams because it really is that serious. Like, you know, if, if – some an action like that could infect an entire franchise, entire team, and then, and then we're seeing that in baseball. So it really is just important for these players to be safe. But I just think the corona situation right now, like sports are not essential, and I know it was crazy not having it, but it's just getting to a point where how can you regulate this? Like players are going to catch it and their families and their kids and all these things. You know, you got Russell Wilson who just had a baby boy, you know, shout out to him in Sierra – um, who also expressed concerns about, like, I have a wife that's pregnant, a newborn, and all that, and going back. So, yeah, I mean, to back to baseball, it's just um, – that sucks. That really sucks, and I pray that they get, they get well soon. Yeah, what we're, seeing, what we're seeing in baseball is um, pretty much the continuation of what happened within our country. We were late to respond, and the numbers got out of control, and baseball suffer, is suffering from it because baseball was late to put a plan in place – And now they're trying to continue their season and have guys fly across the country and state to state. And we're seeing what's what's happening. And the NFL is probably going to face the same issues. I mean, the the NBA was able to figure it out and be able to put um, a large portion of their league in a bubble. But even with doing that, again, they had to limit it down to 22 teams and figure out who's going to come. And if you were injured, you can't go. You know, and if you had a positive test, you're going to have to quarantine for X amount of days before we allow you to be in a bubble. So. Even the NBA, even though it's running smoothly for them, they haven't had a positive test, I believe, since July 20th. Um, It's it's taken a lot to make it happen. So Major League Baseball is already behind the eight ball. NFL is going to be behind the eight ball as well. And as you mentioned, Em, because these things are not essential, at some point you got to say enough is enough. If you're Major League Baseball and you've got two teams that are this badly infected by the virus, what what are you waiting for? You're going to have to stop the season and just call it. Yeah, they should have been planning on doing the bubble from the from the jump. Um, they were going. I know they were going back and forth with the with the uh, players association and whatnot to figure out if they were even going to have a season. But what they should have done at that point was discuss how to play, how the players felt about trying to run a season through through bubbles. Because it would take more than one, just because we're talking about the entire league at this point. But again, if they're breaking the games down to regional games anyway, all you had to do was have a bubble in each region, and then you just have to play it out like that. And then it would just be once I guess once the playoffs come, then it just be then you could you know get rid of the the rest of the bubbles and you narrow it down to one bubble for all of the playoff teams, and you kind of go from there. Um, it's, it's not too late to do it now, mm-hmm. but you'd have to there would have to be a pause in the season in order yeah. for them to do that now, because now you're talking about actually getting this thing together. Um, they do have the blueprint, fortunately, because of the NBA and what they've been able to do. And, and as you mentioned, there haven't been a, a positive test since July 20th. I just wish they would have done this sooner rather than later. To yeah. point where it's just like, all right, now it's just like we're screwed because all of these players have tested positive at one time. And it's not only, well, they got a miss game. Somebody else got a miss game too, because who was they playing? during the schedule. Mm-hmm. So they're not the only team that's missing games because of the positive tests. Right. Right. And that's what we're seeing. As you mentioned, the Yankees had to rework their schedule. Um, the Phillies now, even though they haven't had a test come back, 
they've been hurt the, wo- the most because they had to cancel their series with the Yankees and now their series with the Blue Jays has been canceled as well. Um, so they've almost gone a week without playing any games. Um, I just think the, the issue with them doing a bubble, not that they could not have, I, I believe they, they could have, they could have done maybe four bubbles regionally, like you said, and, and kind of set it up with X amount of teams within a bubble and figure it out from there as far as the schedule. But Major League Baseball and their Players Association uh, have such a disconnect that we saw it during the beginning of the pandemic where they were arguing about how much the players were going to get paid. And the players yeah. were like, no, we want all our money. And the owners are like, there's no way we could pay you. Like, they were arguing about money when they should have been figuring out how can we actually play. Whereas exactly. the NBA and their Players Association immediately went to work like, all right, how can we make this work? Um, it's, it's well documented, documented already at this point how – the bigger players, like the top 12 players in the league kind of got on a call with Adam Silver and they actually worked out the details of how we could do this. Wow. If we're in a bubble and we play this amount of games, who could be there, who could not be there? When could families join us? Like they really went to work on figuring out a, a game plan, whereas Major League Baseball was just worried about who's getting paid and how they're going to get paid. Yeah. So, that's you know, like, yeah, that's it, how we always celebrate NBA because I just feel like they let, they hear, they are the example of having a job that, that, when they do a question, you know, questionnaire, they actually listen to your answers. When they get, do a survey, they actually implement the changes that you want to see, and they just allow their players to have a voice, and I think that's how it should be. I would love to see more black owners, but still, NBA is on their way to uh, just continue to, you know, hear their players and make a change. Plus, they Absolutely. got the most and, black owners anyway. <laughs> is that right? So I think they got the most black owners anyway out of, out of the, the major sports. So. Yeah. I mean, the NFL, NFL is going to run into the same problem. NFL is going to have the same problem that Major League Baseball is having. Um, just last week, I mean, they were arguing about how many times the players are going to get tested. And so, you know, not to say that that, that isn't important. It is. But you guys are working on minor things that, that should be easy to get over already, as opposed to are we getting tested every day, every other day, every third day? What if I want to opt out? Like, those are things you need to figure out quickly and then move on. Like, all right, how can we actually play these games and not put anybody in harm's way? The NFL is still planning on having everybody travel state to state, playing in different cities every Sunday. So, yeah, which is crazy. They, sh- they should actually be working on some type of a bubble, you know what I'm saying, since they got the time. Right now, this is where the, where the bubble is like, yo, listen, we got time to do it. Let's just figure this thing out because – you're looking at a plan that's set to fail if you don't have a bubble just from yeah. what's going on with, with major league baseball. So if you sit back and you got all this extra time and you don't figure something out, it's going to be even worse because you might not even get to start the season just because guys will still be testing positive. Uh, Matthew Stafford just tested positive. So he's on the, the COVID uh, IL list right now. You know what I mean? That's, that's your starting quarterback right there. So if other guys start catching this thing, we might not even have a football season. So I'd be if I'm the commissioner and the owners, I'm looking into building up some kind of bubble system yeah. for the NFL right now and seeing how we can actually maintain negative tests throughout the season. And just the nature of the sport, I just imagine that being extremely difficult. You know, NBA, NBA you're able to do that just based off the basketball court in the indoor bubble. But NFL, there's so many players. The con- I mean – it's a contact sport like NBA, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. I just, for some reason, I'm just thinking the amount of people in the it's locker. Hard. I don't know. I'm just, I'm fearful of the NFL and how they're going to be able to, to manage this, but we'll see. Yeah, it's a lot. It's but they're, they're going to do it. They got to start working on it now. And it, it's a lot. And the crazy thing is NFL, some of their um, stadiums are actually planning on having fans there. Wow. Yes. And that's no <laughs> yes. but it's, it's NFL. It's, it doesn't surprise me. I guess it's business as usual. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck us. This is your African King's company, Michael Blackson. You watching real friends, real talk. Get real with it, my son. Real talk, we as real as you thought. 